All right, it's uh, that time of year. Everybody's starting to think about camping. So I'm going to show you today how to convert your your system to go from 12 volt deep cycle RV marine batteries to six volt golf cart batteries. And I'll show you why it's more effective to do that. Okay, I wanted to explain this in the, the simplest way possible. So <clears throat> traditionally what you'll have is you'll have two of these batteries, either the 24 DC or 27 DC class RV slash marine deep cycle batteries, and they're wired in what's called parallel. And so what you end up doing is your positive coming from your RV system, it's going to go out to the positive on the 12 volt, and then you make a jumper that goes out to your other positive, so your positives are shared. And then your negative comes up to one, and then there's a jumper between negatives, and then they're shared. So your total voltage here, measured here, is just going to be 12 volts. That's what you want. Um, but you've effectively doubled your ampacity by, by having two batteries. So for example, if each of these batteries, for simplicity, let's just say each of these had 100 amp hours, so 100 here, 100 here, but they're both 12 volts, you would now have 200 total amp hours that you could run at 12 volts on that RV. Okay, let's jump down to the new golf cart style battery. So the way you're going to wire is you're going to go from negative to the negative. And then instead of jumpering to the negative here, you're actually going to jumper from your positive here to your negative on the next battery. And then you go from the positive there back to the RV positive. Okay, I want to show you. I did a quick calculation based on the reserve capacity of 140 hours. Uh, basically what you can do is there's a formula to say, okay, we're running 25 amps, times that by 60 minutes, divide that by 3,600, and you can come up with your amp hour rating at 25 amps. So pulling at a five hour rating on these, the five hour rating would be pulling 25 amps. Um, and so on these, they're 175 a piece, but because we're adding the voltage, we don't get to add the ampacity. So uh, the rating for one of these is, is basically effectively the rating for both of these when you put them in series like that. Um, but 175 amp hours at a 25 amp rate, um, or also known as the five hour rate. Uh, so you're getting 50% more. Now, the kicker is these do not cost 50% more, so best way to get bang out of your buck is by going this route. And yeah, you get a little bit of maintenance with them, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it because when I'm camping and I want to be able to have my lights, and especially if you're a dry camper, you boondock, um, you don't have hookups, this really is an awesome setup. Uh, and then you can just run your little putt-putt generator every once in a while and uh, charge it up. This is my current setup, and as you can see, I'm wired in parallel. So I've got positive terminal, positive terminal, negative, negative, and my positives are tied together, my negatives are tied together, and then they go back to all my connections to the trailer or out to my uh, tongue jack. So we're gonna change that up today and show you how you can get uh, more amp hours out of golf cart batteries, believe it or not. Okay, there's the 24 DC, so that's the same size as what I had. There's the 27 DC, which two of those are likely to not be able to fit on my rail. And then here's the Costco golf cart batteries. So. I'll just show you. So size comparison, they have a pretty similar footprint. Now the golf carts are a little bit like wider, as you can see. But the other thing is, is they're a little bit taller. All right, so if I'm looking at this, 180 in batteries, 6% sales tax, 190.78, not too shabby at all. So I wanted to point out right there, uh, the Costco golf cart batteries were $90 uh, to put the same type of batteries that were in there before, the 24 DC group, uh, those were $75. Uh, so they're 20% more to get the golf cart batteries 
However, I'm getting 50% more amp hours out of these batteries. Okay, so I've got the new batteries in place and I wanna show you what I did. So I put the positive end here and then I put my other positive clear over there. So the reason for this is because I didn't have enough wire length and even as it was, it was close. I had to push my, my batteries all over this way. Um, but the way this is going to work is, and I'll start from negative to positive. So going from my trailer side, the, the flow of energy is going to go like this to the positive side. And then I'm going to put my jumper from here to this negative, And then it's going to go to here and then out. And so by doing this, it's like you're adding the voltage and instead of six volts, when I measure from here to here, I'm gonna have 12 volts. Okay, so I've got, I'm on this positive lead here. Now, if I go over to my negative, you'll see I'm gonna get 6.7 volts. So now, since these are touching, I'm gonna get that same 6.7 if I go touch the positive on the other side, because this is connected to these wires over to here. But if I go from positive here, to negative here, I get the 6.7 times two, so 13.3. So you can kind of look at this, like this is just one big battery, and the negative from this side to the positive on this side is 12 volts, give or take. Okay, so we're all wired in, but I do want to show you, there is one maintenance item on these golf cart batteries. And what you want to do is they have these little handles so you pull this off and you look in there and you'll see that I've got water. If I give it a little give it a little jiggle, you can see it. So what you want is there's these little plates in here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. There they are. There's these little plates in there. And it's important that those plates are covered. I always want those covered. And realistically, what you want to do is <clears throat> a make sure those plates are covered but then when your water gets low uh, you can just put distilled water in here and you want to make sure that you keep the plates covered but then there's kind of these little tubes and you want to come up and I don't know if you can see the sidewall in there a little bit but you want to come to where you're almost touching that sidewall um, but no more than that you don't want to fill it to the top so anyway so that's something you got to do periodically uh so it's not a bad idea to keep some distilled water with you um <clears throat> but otherwise i'm excited because my furnace kept you know I, I would get run my furnace on a chilly night and wake up in the morning and have to run the generator half the day because my batteries were dang near dead so i'm excited this should be no problems I also wanted to show you these straps on this Camco boxes just in case you end up buying them. So I'm going to do this one handed, it's a little tricky, but basically I'm going to come through on that little, on this little tooth end and I'm going to cinch it. I'm going to pull it through and get it to where it is very, very snug. All right. And then what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll just loop it back through there. And that's kind of, I was wondering how those work. They're a little tricky to figure out at first. <laughs> All right, there we go. We are set up, ready to travel. And hopefully I don't have to do that for, uh, you know, a good five years.